we are having a little dip before this next rip. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why that is, guys. Good morning, just got back from the gym, fired up to be here, happy Friday. Hope you all have a great weekend. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I make the best crypto content on YouTube. If you've learned anything from my channel in regards to RSI, Fibonacci, Stochastic, Stocks, or Crypto, drop a comment down below. Guys, I made a video yesterday. I've only been making about one video a day. When I first got on YouTube, I used to make like two to three, sometimes four videos in a day. I'm super busy. If you don't know me, I got a family. I got two kids under three. I run a full-time business outside of YouTube and Patreon, of course. Link is down below if you want to join the community. We have a lot of great information in there. But I've been making one video a day. So if you haven't seen my video yesterday in regards to Dogecoin, make sure you watch that because I also explain the Bitcoin halving and what's about to happen. And I know this event is very confusing. A lot of people don't really understand it and I'm not gonna get into the details today in this video. This video is gonna be about something completely different, but make sure you go to my page, watch the video I posted yesterday, it's like five minutes, okay? But the Bitcoin halving is literally in 11 hours, less than a day. We have been following this probably for the last three months, the last 90 days in regards to the halving and crypto and a lot of great things. We have made some money on some crypto swings that we've done, okay? Like AOs, first alerted at 13 cents. It's pulling back a little bit right now. Big AI crypto. I think it's gonna be huge this cycle. We've talked a lot about Dogecoin, Jasmine, obviously, XRP, okay? But this event is the biggest thing that's gonna be happening this year in 2024 when we're talking about crypto. Now, in yesterday's video, I talked about what usually happens when the halving comes around. We looked at the last three cycles. Usually there's a massive dip either right before the halving or right after the halving. But six to 12 months after this event happens, Bitcoin is higher. Altcoins are higher, okay? You gotta choose the right ones. I actually hold only 14 now. I had 15, but I ended up selling one of my coins and putting it into Dogecoin the other day. So I hold 14 cryptos right now that I believe will give me massive returns over the next six to 12 months at least. Now let's just look at the last year. What has happened with crypto and the total market cap? Right now we're at 2.36 trillion. Okay, so we've obviously pulled back. You can see from the highs over here. And this is when Bitcoin made a new all-time high before the halving, which has never happened before. So this cycle is gonna be completely different, but I still think it's going to relate in a way that we can understand and we can read and we'll know when to sell. But if you just look at the last year, we were down here for a while, 1.2 trillion. We ran up all the way to like 2.7 trillion. Now we're just doing a little pullback, right? Again, what I said was there's usually a massive dip before the halving or right after the halving. And I think right now we're experiencing the massive dip before the halving. And the reason for that, guys, is I mean, cryptos are down massively from the, the most recent tops. Like Dogecoin itself is down 33%. I mean, SHIB is down like 50%. Pretty much every crypto, every altcoin is probably down over 30% in the last three weeks. Okay? Pretty sad. Probably the last month, to be honest with you, because it seems like Dogecoin topped out on March 25th at about 23 cents. So that's down over 30%. Okay? Again, this is going to happen, especially right before the halving. We might go even lower. I don't know. No one knows. But I know and I do feel very confident that this will move much higher in the long run. 2.36 trillion is not the top for crypto or even 2.7 trillion. I think it's gonna go much higher. I've listed my reasons why. Probably the biggest reason I think is because Bitcoin ETFs have been approved and funded where people are buying these ETFs up, okay? When you think of big money, baby boomer generation money, can literally move their IRA money into Bitcoin ETFs, that's a big deal. And I think it's gonna grow. And I think this market cap will get at least a six trillion, which means Bitcoin will go up, which means the altcoins I talk about will go up. But again, you wanna understand charts, Fibonacci, all that kind of stuff, because you don't wanna be caught holding the bag, right? You wanna take your profit, don't get greedy, learn to take profit on the way up. 
This is what I talk about in my Patreon. Again, link is down below if you want to join. But again, guys, this is just getting started. I'm not stressed. I'm not worried about this. Again, I do not think this is the top. I think we will go much higher. This is just a great buying opportunity. As we wrap up this video, I think this is all has to do with also the war going on with Iran and Israel. That could get even worse, right? So you have to understand that. We might have a massive dip in the stock market, but if we zoom out, the stock market will return and move much higher. Not financial advice, guys. Do your own research. Have a great day. See you on the next one.